Shalom Akim. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the Akim that's doing this work. It's the same the truth. And um, just another uh, response to um, HODC. All right. Saying that um, spiritual power is not going to come to our people until we go into the land of Israel. You know, but um, brothers is um, you know, doing beautiful lessons concerning this issue, you know, but um, I want I want to uh I tackle this in on another way. I'm gonna bring out two precepts, all right, and um, I'm gonna bring out a couple of verses on each one, all right, and Lord willing is is edifying, okay, all right. But one thing I want to get on this right here. As you look at these these guys in the video, all right, you got the, um, I guess so called elders, okay. When you're looking on to the um, left hand side though, these look like younger brothers, all right, that just came in, all right. Now you look at this brother here, all right, um, the second from the left, all right. He don't e he doesn't even have fringes on. He has zits on, okay, which the so called Jews wear, you know. So these um so called Supposed to be elders of Israel, man, because they've been in the truth for many years. They should be elders by now, okay? All right? So-called elders, all right? But these, they're a bunch of reprobates, okay? They're causing a stumbling block amongst these, these young men on the left, you know? Okay? This guy has on zits this, with the, with the uh, beige vest on, okay? That's what the so-called Jews wear, okay? All right? Now... Second of all, okay, where's um Bunyanyan? Okay, all right, uh, aka Gangster Ben. Okay, he's supposed to be one of the elders of, the, of, of, of this congregation. Where is he? Okay, in this video, okay, all right, but you can tell, you can see through the spirit that they're a bunch of reprobates, man, you know, all of them, you know, and the elders they're not even correcting one another. They on one accord with this 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 false uh fleet doctrine, man. Okay? Alright? Alright? Yahweh by Shemi Awa Shai has these men in a trick bag, man. Okay? And 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 also the followers that, that follow them, man. Okay? Because you have it to where they're all elders, but if one who whoever came up with this fleet doctrine, you don't have any other elder telling them that they're going off. Okay, all right, all right. Yahweh Bashim Al Shai controls the minds of these people, man. All right, these guys ain't got it, man. They lost the oil, man. You know, all right, all right. They tried to redeem themselves. They came down to the main camp at thirty fourth and seventh, man. You know, and um, they still wasn't wholeheartedly uh, uh, uh accepting. All right, Cornelius was an Israelite, talking about um, we in transition, we we in a transition period, man. You know what I'm saying? All right? This is no great areas in this truth, man. All right? Let your yeas be yeas and your nays be nays. You see? You know? All right? Because now they came down here. The apostles did a video uh, um, concerning them coming down and they felt offended, man. You know? All right? You guys are enemies of, of your hell by Shem Abishai. You know? And I'm, I'm going to prove it Lord's will through the scriptures, man. You see? All right, first scripture I want to grab is um Micah chapter four, verse six. In that day, saith Yahweh, will I assemble her that haleth, halteth, and will gather her that is driven out, talking about Israel, and her that I have afflicted. You know, okay. All right, we were driven out, okay, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, and the places where we were scattered, we were afflicted. Okay, all right, all right, according to Deuteronomy 28, okay, these curses are going to be upon us in pursuit to the to we be destroyed. Okay, all right, this guy, uh, 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 um, the, the Benjamite, okay, Let me get him up real quick, all right. Oh, yes, bro.
the Benjamite, you know, he's talking about all the diseases that we're going through. Yeah, we're going through all the diseases, though. But you think that physically going into the land of Israel, you're going to escape those those those, those um, infirmities or, or afflictions that are put upon us as a curse, according to Deuteronomy 28? You're going, you're going off, okay? All right? And those ruins that's in the background, okay? That's not the, that's not the tabernacle of David, okay? All right? That's how you you corner you you lost the oil you ain't got it, okay? You are a bunch of ruffle baits, you know. But getting back, okay. I'm gonna read it again. This is Micah chapter four verse six. In that day, saith Yahweh, will I assemble her that halteth, and and I will gather her that is driven out, and her that I have afflicted, right? Talking about Israel, right? And I will make her that halteth a remnant, and her what, and her that was cast off a strong nation. And Yahweh shall reign over them in Mount Zion from henceforth for even forever. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, according to um, Daniel uh, uh, seven to eighteen, the king, the saints shall take the kingdom. You know, right? Verse eight. And thou. O tower of the flock, the stronghold of the daughter of Zion, unto thee shall it come, even the first dominion. The kingdom shall come to the daughter of Zion, you know, and that's talking about the first fruits, man, you know, that first dominion of the kingdom, okay, all right, which is, which is the elect, all right, which is the 144,000 and the one third, man, that's the first dominion of the kingdom, okay. You know, verse 9. Now, why dost thou cry out aloud? Is there no king in thee? Is thy counsel perished? For pangs have taken thee as a woman in travail. You know, and that's talking about the, the um Jacob's trouble. You know, you know, these guys are trying to escape Jacob's trouble by going into the land of Israel, man. Okay, right? Verse 10. All right. What does what does you how about me? What, what does Yahweh by Shema Roshai say? Verse 10. Be in pain and labor bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail. For now shalt thou go forth out of the city, and thou shalt dwell in the field. Thou shalt go even to Babylon. Okay? There shalt thou be delivered. Okay? Right? Let me read it again. All right? I'm going to start um, from, and thou shalt dwell in the field, and thou shalt go even to Babylon. There shalt thou be delivered. There, Yahweh shall redeem thee from the hand of thy enemies. Okay? All right? So, from Babylon, a.k.a. America, we're going to be redeemed. Okay? We're not going to have no type of flea, type of uh, uh, flea doctrine that you're trying to push out, man. You know? All right, you know, you know, in Jake is cheap as hell, man. You know, you know how much a, a, a air, airline ticket costs to go to Israel, man. You know, all right, all right. So you clowns that that, that think that's where you need to receive um so called spiritual power, then then that then, then go, man. You're, you're basically going. You're you're you're, you're amongst the undesirables, man. You how about Shema Shah's not dealing with those men, okay? All right, they have little faith, okay. You know. All right, because the scriptures clearly um, state, okay, that we're going to be delivered in the land of our enemies, man. You know, all right. Verse eleven. Now also many nations are gathered against thee, that say, "Let her be defiled, let our eye look upon Zion." But they know not the thoughts of Yahweh, neither understand his counsel. For he shall gather them as sheaves unto, unto into the floor, you know, and um, the thing is, is that um Benjamin Netanyahu, which is um the so-called uh president of Israel, he's already put out put out a decree to um gather up all of the African I um immigrants that are in the land, all right, and and push them out of there. Via giving them uh, money, 
in in um in in a one way ticket back to whatever wherever country they came from, or face jail time. Okay, so now he's treating these so called Africans, these Hamites that are, that are fleeing from uh being destroyed by Esau in 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 Atlanta and um in, in the continent of Africa. Okay, all right. This is why you have a mass number of refugees coming to towards Europe and in 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 the Middle East. You know, all right. This is what the media is not putting out. <laughs> Esau is wrecking havoc in those areas where they're fleeing. <laughs> it's like you trying to kick this cold. You know, so he put out a decree on um, kicking out these African immigrants at, that are in the land of Israel. Okay. So what more, you so-called Negroes, which they have the records, Esau has the records, you so-called Negroes that have, that they have the records of knowing who you are, okay? What more so, okay? Right? Verse 13, arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion, for I will make thy horn iron, I will make thy hoofs brass. And thou shalt beat in pieces many people. That sounds like that looks like uh spiritual power to me. And I will consecrate their gain into unto Yahweh and your substance unto the power, your Lord of, of the whole earth. You know? But the point is is that he'll make thy horn iron and make thy hoofs brass, man. You know? Alright? That sounds like spiritual power, you know. In Babylon, okay, you know, so the whole doctrine of going to Israel to receive power, that land is defiled, that land is going to be destroyed according to Ezekiel 38, you know, that's why you know that the spirit of Yahweh Hashim Shai is not dealing with those men, okay, because they lack uh, 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 the, the, the understanding of prophecy, man, you know, the spirit of prophecy of, uh, is of Yahweh Hashim Shai, okay, all right. So if they understood prophecy, they know not to go nowhere near that land. That land has to be cleansed. Okay? You got them heathens living in there. All right? Fighting over the place. Okay? Oh, the whole world is in uproar because this man Trump made Jerusalem um, the capital. So according to um, Isaiah uh, chapter 2 verse 1, okay? Uh, Jerusalem supposed to be the praise of the earth. The, 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 the Gentiles supposed to come and, and flow unto us. Okay, why isn't that happening? Because Jerusalem is a people before it's a place, man. You know, you guys lost that oil, man. You ain't got it, man. You're, you're a bunch of reprobates and you're looking at everything in a carnal eye. You know, you feel like you need to be in that land and then you're, 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 you're pointing to the tabernacle of David, which is in ruins. Okay, all right. You see, and anybody by, that follows behind them, you know, let me grab real quick. Uh, Real quick, let me grab. Let me grab Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 9. And if a and if the prophet be deceived when he have spoken a thing, I, Yahweh, have deceived that prophet, and I will stretch out my hand upon him. And destroy him from the midst of my people Israel. Okay? So this got this these these H O D C are prophets that are being deceived, okay, by Yahweh by Shema Rashai. Alright? And and they're speaking in the words of deceit. Okay? You know, verse 10. And they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. The punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seek it unto, unto him. Okay? And, and the him is the people that follow these men. Okay? Alright? So now you're telling me that you're supposed to flee over to Israel. Okay? Alright? And the, the receive spiritual power and you're supposed to integrate into society with these heathens. That's society over there with, with these heathens. Okay? That's not what, what the Lord's prescribed, man. You know? Alright? Yahweh by Shema Rashi said, Wait ye upon me as I rise up unto the prey, man. You know? Roughly paraphrasing. 
You see? Right? Let me get back. You know? All right. Let me grab... Uh, let me go to Luke. All right? Luke chapter... 19... Verse 13. And he called his ten servants... And delivered them ten pounds... And said unto them... Occupy till I come. Okay? So now... Yahweh Shai, okay, all right, he gave his 10 servants these 10 pounds, right, which is his word, all right, and every man to his to, to his own measure, okay, to his ability, right, and he said unto them, occupy till I come, all right, let's get, uh, let's get a couple words here, all right, let's get, um, let's get occupy. Right? To be occupied in anything, to carry on a business, to carry on a business of a banker or a trader. Okay, those 10 pounds, you're supposed to be carrying on a business, the Lord's business, though, right? All right? All right? When Mary and Joseph went to go look, looking for, uh, uh, um, looking for Yahweh Shai, he said, Don't you see that I'm, I'm about my father's business? Okay? All right? And your father's business is about doing this, doing this work. Okay? All right? Don't, being on the highways and byways. So how the hell are you being on the highways and byways being in the land of Israel, man? Okay? We still got a job to do. All right? We still got work to do. Okay? Here it is. You already fleeing. All right? All right? Because you lack faith. All right? We're going to get into that. You see? Right? But his... Matter of fact... All right? Let me grab something else out of here. Salakia. Okay? Let me grab... um. Through the spirit, we grab servants, right? Servants. Metaphor. One who gives himself up to another's will. Um, those who serve who whose service is used by Hamashiach in extending and advancing his cause among men. Okay? That's the point right there. Alright? One who gives himself up to another's will. All right, all right. His service will give this. The servants of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is going to give himself up to his will. All right, and those service is used by Hamashiach in extending and advancing his cause among men, waking up the elect, man. All right, that's that the service that are, that are occupying until he comes. You know, all right, occupying in Babylon. You see, right, right. Let me get back, all right? But his citizens hated him and sent a message after him saying, we will not have this man reign over us, man. And you guys, man, you guys are those citizens, man. Okay? That hate Yahweh Shai, man. Because why? It's because you're not doing the will, all right, and the commandment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai as, as, as going up in the uh, hedges and, and uh, um, gaps, man. And, and doing this work, man. All right? All right? You're going back to the land of Israel and, and, and really trying to set up a foundation over there, man. Which is going to come to naught. You know? All right? The truth lies with the doctrine and men of Great Millstone. Bar none. Okay? That separation has already begun. All right? Anybody can that can see it through the Spirit is it's already seen already. You see? Right? Right? I'm going to read it again. Verse 14. But his citizens hated him and sent a message after him saying, we will not have this man reign over us. You know, Yahweh Bashem Rashad said that, wait upon me till I rise up to the prey. You know, all right. We are supposed to stand fast in this word and doing this work in Babylon, man. So we, we're supposed to be, this is supposed to be the great deliverance though. All right. Yahweh Bashem Rashad wants to show his power in the earth, man. Okay. His deliverance in the earth though, you know. How are you going over to the land of Israel? How is he going to show his power by everybody of everybody going over to Israel? All right? He has to show that great deliverance though, man. All right? Okay? You know? All right? He's going to look he's going to make that 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 salvation, that that deliverance from the land of Egypt look like a a a, a bad rehearsal, man. You know? Right? 
Verse 15. And it came to pass when that when we was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded his servants to be called unto him, to whom he had given the money, that he might know how much every man have gained by his trading. Okay, so now he's judging a man by his work, right? Verse 16. Then came the first saying, Thy pound hath gained ten pounds. And he said unto him, Well, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in very little, thou hast authority over ten cities. Okay, all right. The key word is being faithful, man. All right, in very little, man. All right, all right. That grain of, of a mustard seed, man. Okay, you could you could take a mountain and move it from thence, man. All right, that's in the scriptures, man. That's very little faith, man. That that the servant had, all right, of believing on the words of Yahweh Bashim or Shai and doing the work, man. All right, and occupy until he comes, man. Not fleeing and going to some land that's not promised to you yet, man. You gotta wait for Yahweh Bashim Arashah to come first, man, to get delivered to that land, man. It's all through the scriptures, man. You know, brothers is already on it already, man. I'm I'm just gonna tackle this some some different type of way, man. Through the spirit, man. There's many ways we can we can tackle this, man. You know, you, you guys are easy, man. You're easy. You know, all right. Verse eighteen. And the second came saying, Yeah, uh 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 Yahweh, thy pound have gained Yahweh Bashima Shai, thy pound have gained five pounds. And he said unto him, Be thou also over five cities. And another came saying, Yahweh Bashima Rashai, behold, here is thy pound which thou have kept laid up in, in a napkin. Okay? So now this is pointed towards those uh um elders. Okay, of HODC, man. All right. There's no reason why you guys been in the truth this long, man. Okay. All right. You still can't get it right, man. You guys are a bunch of reprobates right now, man. You know. All right. That last chance of redemption was was when you came down as a camp to 34th and 7th, man. Okay. All right. And then after the aftermath for that, y'all felt some kind of way. All right. You got emotional. All right. And, and, and you're not doing the will of Yahweh by Shema Shah, man. You 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 turned you turned away from that doctrine that was being brought forth before you, man. All right, you guys basically condemned yourself, man. Okay, for you to come down to the camp, right? And then now you're talking about no spiritual power is going to be given until you enter the, the land of his, Israel, man. All right, so now now you don't have the spirit of prophecy among you, man. You lost it. The oil is gone, man. You're a bunch of reprobates, man. You know, right? Because why? You laid you you laid up you laid up that that pound in that lapkin, man. You know, right? He said, verse twenty one, for I feared thee, because thou art an austere man. Thou takest up that thou layest not down, and reapest that thou not sow, man. You know. And the scriptures say that that any and anything that's not in my root, man, I'm 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 a pluck up, man. You know, all right. You're not coming under the under the guise of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah, man. All right. You're not being grounded in this truth, man. You're not grounded in in, in in the word, man. You're not being grounded, man. You know, all right. You hate Yahweh Shah, man, because why? Because you're not believing on His word. You're not believing on His promise. You're not. You don't have faith to to, to say that He's gonna redeem me. All right. All right. Worry, um, don't worry, thy worm Jacob, all right? I will gather thee, all right? Roughly paraphrasing, man, in Isaiah, right? Right, verse 22. And he saith unto him, Out of thy own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knewest that I was an austere man, taking up that I lay not down, and reaping that I, I did not sow. Wherefore thou gavest not thou my money into the bank, that at my coming I might have required mine with with usury. Okay, and that's basically gathering his sheep, man. All right, working up the elect, man. All right, you trying to have some fleet doctrine, though. You 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 neg you negated from doing the work, man. You see, all right. Scriptures say, "Occupy till I come," man. Right, verse twenty four. And he said unto them that stood by, Take from him the pound 
and give it to him that have 10 pounds, man. All right? So that oil is, is squeezed out of you fucking jokers, man. Okay? All right? All right? And it's given into that foundation, great millstone, man. All right? So we're going to occupy till the Jihad by Shima Shah comes, man. Okay? Lord's willing, man. You know? And they said unto him, Lord, we have 10 pounds. For I say unto you that everyone which have shall be given. And from him that have not, even that ha that he have shall be taken away from him, man. So all oh, he has been taken away from you, man. All right? You had it and it's gone, man. All right? Why? It's because you're rebellious, man. You're rebellious on the commandments of Yahweh by Shemar Shai, man. And occupy until he comes, man. You see? All right? You're already trying to create this, this, this heresy of, of the fleet doctrine, man. All right? So now you got the simple ones of you people to follow you, man. You know, Jake scraping up money, trying to get, uh, trying to move his old raggedy family over there to Israel, trying to get established. Come on, man. That place is going to be destroyed, man. All right? You don't even have the spirit of prophecy, man. Okay? All right? Right? Verse 27. But those, my enemies, which I would have, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. You know? And I want to grab um a specific word out of here. I want to grab enemy. Okay? Hostile, hating, and opposing one another, man. All right? You guys want to come up with your own doctrine, man. You coming up against this truth, man. You know? All right? You could... You come in contrary to what has already been laid down, man. All right? All right? Do the men of great millstone from the apostles and elders on down, man. You know? Opposing the most high in the mind, man. Right? That's what you do. You know? You're, you're opposing him. Okay? A man that is hostile. You're hostile, man, because you're rebellious, man. You know? You, you, you got pride because you don't want to come under, under the men of great millstone, man. You want to go on and do your own thing, man. You know? All right? All right? I keep on saying this. I coin it. You know? You know? You 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 become unplugged from Great Millstone, man. You liable to go off, man. You know? And it's truth. You know? Right? A certain enemy, the hostile one. You know? You know? But that's it, yo. You know? Just bringing out. I want to bring out a couple. Uh, uh, uh. Two power and they go. Quit, you know? Um. Two quick precepts, though. I went through a couple of verses on it. You know, I try to tackle it another way. You know, brothers is doing 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 that thing. You know, but um, just want to get on these guys, man. And like I said, man, these guys are, are laying stumbling blocks, man, amongst the young ones, man. You know, but but like I said, though, man, Yahweh Bashim Abashai is bringing that spiritual broom, that one quick sweep, that one clean sweep. Okay, all right, over these other Israelite camps, man. To grab up the elect out of that, man. You know? You know? And he got these young guys going off, man. These guys are, are younger guys and younger guys is coming in, man. They're going the hell off, man. This guy got on Zeke's, man. You ain't you ain't trying to correct this guy? He has no fringes on, man. The one in, in, in the beige vest, man. You know? You know? There's, there's so much of a reprobate that, that nobody doesn't have no 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 sound frame of mind to where, yo, Ak, you going off. Okay? They're all in one accord in, in, in these heresies, man. You know? All right? So that's it, though. You know, just a little spiritual rant. So I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the Akim that's doing this work in sincerity and truth. Shalom.